Good morning. Happy Monday. It's Coach Mika. We got balanced body this morning. Yes. So I'll wait for you guys to pop on. Of course, for balanced body, you're going to need, um, if you have a, a, bo a body barbell or a body pump barbell set up at home, that is ideal because that's what we use. Good morning, good morning for those of you popping on. Um, if you don't have the barbell, that's totally fine. Uh, you can use a set of, of dumbbells. If you don't have a set of dumbbells, that's okay too. You can get a backpack filled with some uh, objects. You want at least a medium, something that feels medium heavy, medium to heavy heavy. <laughs> um, and uh, for Tabatas today, uh, if you have dumbbells, that would be great. Or a weighted, like a heavy book can help as well too. So I hope you guys are doing well this Monday morning. Um, I'm ready to go. I'm not, um, if you have a couple of minutes to get your Spotify playlists ready, um, I'm not playing any music at all because it's, it's getting muted in the playback. Uh, for the Tabatas, I will count you down in case you don't have your Spotify running, but you should see the link uh, in the description of this video for the playlist. Um, and otherwise, I don't know. We've got just a few more seconds to go, and it is 7 a.m. to get started. We'll start off with a nice warm up, and let's get this done, okay? All right, guys, for the warm up, let's start with some jumping jacks. One, two, three. We're doing 10, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go step it out. One, two, three, four, five. Really twist, rotate. Nine, ten, and up. Good. Who is watching? Hey, Julie. Can you guys hear me okay through my mic? I don't know. Yes. Boom. Boom. Good. Hinge forward. Let's swing those arms out. Remember, for our strength complexes for balanced body, we've got eight strength complexes that we do in succession, eight reps each, and big circles back. Yes, you can. Okay, awesome. Good. And big circles forward. I'm using my wireless headphones today. Whew. Oh. Let's take it down into a nice deep squat. Wake up those hip flexors. Pay attention to your form. Reach that butt back and down. Heels heavy. Again, like I was saying, I'm not gonna play any music at all, but I did recommend a playlist for you because during the playback, they tend to get muted even if I use remixes, so which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. And then for the Tabatas, I will count you down, but there are Tabata songs in the Spotify playlist. The challenge is kind of doing it together, but I think we'll be okay. All right, guys, you ready? So grab your weighted object, uh, whether it's a backpack. I'm gonna do this first round with dumbbells. Remember, we've got eight strength complexes to get through, eight reps each. It is at your pace. You can uh, either keep up with me or go a little bit faster or go a little bit slower. It's all okay. All right, guys, let's do this. Oh, where are my dumbbells? Here we go. So your first um, strength complex in the balanced body syllabus is your bent over row. The most important thing is to bend over, right? So I'm really hinged at the hips. I relax the dumbbells. I'm gonna hold them straight just like this. I relax so that um, they're hanging right underneath my shoulders. Let's do eight reps. Here we go. And eight, seven, six, five, four. I squeeze my shoulder blades together. And one. Then from here, we're going to do power cleans. For power cleans, you're doing that same hip hinging movement. You want the dumbbells right about knee. And then bring it up, right? So it's a hip drive that powers the clean. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's eight. <laughs> the push presses, 
They come so quickly. Push, press, press, dip and drive. So dip and drive. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Awesome. Now from here, we've got good mornings. If you have dumbbells, I want you to bring them back down by your side. Good mornings, your legs are straight, back is straight. You're gonna hinge, really stretch out that posterior chain. Feet are about hip width apart. Take your time, three, four, five, six, two more, seven, and eight. Excellent. Now we've got lunges to do. So that was our fourth lunges. You're gonna start either with your right or your left. Stack your, if you're using dumbbells, stack them back on top of those shoulders. And I'm gonna do a reverse lunge, all right? So make sure your hip width apart. Two, three, four. Remember that forward leg is that working leg. Five, you wanna work that glute. Six, seven, and eight. Switch sides. So remember, in body, you wanna make sure that you're doing all eight reps on one side first. You wanna accumulate that fatigue. I think that was five, six, seven, and eight. Now from here, we've got squats left. All the way down and up. Deep squats. Two, butt back and down. Three, four, five, three more, six, whew. Seven and eight, good. Next one, squat thrusters. Squat thrusters, we're gonna squat deep and then press up. Ready? And go. Two, three, don't cheat yourselves here. Four, five, three more. Six, seven and eight. Awesome guys. Whew. That's your first strength complex, one of five done. Your next, your first Tabata upper body, we've got an inchworm push-up with our plank punches. Inchworm push-up, reach for the floor, walk it out, do your push-up. Of course you can do your push-up on your knees and then walk it back. You do that for 20 seconds, rest for 10. Then your second exercise, plank punches. Plank, we're gonna punch through, boom. 20 seconds here, we're gonna alternate back and forth. And I've got my timer here. I'm gonna wait, um, yeah, we got like 30 seconds before we start the next one. Just wanna make sure all of you guys finish your strength complex before we start our Tabata. I'm gonna hit that timer. It's gonna give me a little 10 second preparation. Starting session. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> Here we go with our intro push ups, guys. In three, two, one, and work. Go. Push. Ah. Yes. Woo. Try to keep those legs straight when you do your inchworm so you get that nice stretch in your calves hamstrings, glutes, rest, rest, Whew. five, four, three, two, one, plank punch guys, go, man that alarm is like really crazy, my neighbors are going to hate me, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit, keep punching, oh, Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Excellent. Inchworm back on your feet for inchworm push ups. In three, two, one, and work. Oh, don't you guys love push ups? Get 
that chest all the way to the floor. Excellent, rest, breathe. Three, two, one, plank punches, go. Really punch like you mean a drive through, squeeze. Keep that butt down. Three, two, one, and rest. That was round five. So this is round five. And turn, push up, go. Belly button up towards that spine. Keep it all contracted. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo. Inch arm push up and go. strong bodies. Excellent session complete. How does that feel? Drink a little bit of water. Get ready for second round. Ooh. Grabbing. I'm gonna do this with the barbell today for the second one. Really get that whole body thing going. I just want to make sure it's super tight. You guys ready for round two? Let's get this done. Oops. Yeah, the last thing, last thing I need is plates flying off that barbell. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Now let's get eight of these bent over barbell rows done. In three, two, one, and work. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, clean it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push presses, overhead, extend those arms. Two, dip and drive. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Good mornings. One. Back is flat. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Legs are straight. Three more. Six. Seven. And eight. Got lunges to do. I'm going to do forward lunges for this one. One. Two, really loading up into that glute, quad hamstring. Three, make sure your feet are railroad track apart. Four, not on a tight rope. Five, six, seven. 
One more for me. Eight. And remember, with balanced body, you work at your pace. Form is more important than getting it done fast, right? Five. Three more for me. And really think about what it is that you're working right now. Which body part? I can't even count three. I think that's eight. <laughs> Now from your lunges, you can get your squats. Feet are a little bit wider apart, a little bit wider than shoulder width. My toes are out slightly, but you can have them forward too. I wanna to shift the hips back before I start bending the knees. So there's a little slight release. That way I can get a little bit more depth. Push through the heels. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'm gonna bring the barbell back to the front. And we've got our squat thrusters. Ready? Eight squat thrusters. Squat deep, thrust it up. Two, three, four, five, Six, whew, seven, whew, last one, and eight. Woo, that felt good. Second to Bata. While you're finishing up your reps, we've got chest press with a leg raise. That's gonna be on the floor. You can use your dumbbells. Just use one dumbbell. You don't have to use two. I'll demonstrate with the dumbbell. If you don't have dumbbells or traditional weights, you can use your backpack that's filled with books. Oh, I gotta do one round with the backpack. That's what I forgot. So we've got two exercises. And we've done these before. I think we did this a couple of weeks ago during the chest. So my legs are in that static leg raise position. And I'm gonna press that dumbbell up for 20 seconds. Then after we finish those, we've got skull crushers. Same with that, still with that static leg raise. And this time we're working the triceps. Bringing that dumbbell or that book or backpack, whatever weighted object you have, working those triceps. All right, guys, let's get this done. Starting session. Prepare. Starting session, chest press, static leg raise. Ready and work up. Remember to connect the small of your back, your lower back into your mats. If your hip flexors really start spazzing out on you, you can bend the knees and just bring them right here. Three, two, one, and rest. Ooh, I'm getting warm, I'm getting a little sweaty. Ready, skull crushers, static leg raise, and work. Go. Four. You don't really need to count, but I'm always curious how many reps I get done. Uh, 10, 11, ready, and rest. Good, I got in about 12 or 13 reps. That's a good rep range for toning, burning, etc. And chest press. Keep those abs tight. Now focus on driving that belly button down towards that spine as you keep those legs lifted. This is a total body movement. Pushing that dumbbell or that book straight up. When you're working with lighter weight, Rest. You can also increase that tempo a little bit without sacrificing your form. That's gonna help get your heart rate up, right? Get that conditioning aspect. So we did like a, a good Q&A about planning out your workout week, utilizing all of our group classes, and one of the ones was, you know, how do I get my heart rate up if I can't jump because I've got neighbors downstairs? Squeeze. 
and high reps, light to medium weight, even body weight exercises, lots of reps, quick tempo, chest press. And that's going to get your heart rate up. I mean, I'm lying on the floor and you keep working. And I'm at like a moderate heart rate. I'd say I'm in like a zone two, maybe getting into zone three a little bit. Not like super high, but. Wait, what happened? Oh, rest. Sorry, my computer died. It didn't die, but you know, I went to sleep. Three more seconds to rest. We've got tricep skull crushes and work. Go. I said stay focused. Stay in the moment. Five more seconds. Abs are getting tired. That feels good. Woo. Arms are getting jelly. Two more. Two more rounds, chest press, ready, and go. Keep pushing. It's a light weight, so you can go a little bit faster. Three, two, one, rest, and final scroll crusher. Ready, two, one, and work, go. Again, keep that tempo up. Breathe, get that heart rate up. Push. Squeeze those abs nice and tight. Oh, I feel that burn now. And rest. saying that we have to do one more. I don't think that's right. Session nope, complete. session is complete. That's what I thought. Great job, guys. Round two is done. Let's get ready for round three. Is someone going to do it with the backpack? For those of you with the backpack, I've forgotten that that's an option, right? So at home, we're modifying. Grab a sip of water. Let's get round three done. Yes. Whew. So for my backpack, I have it filled with heavy textbooks. I think I even have a Bible in there. <laughs> the Bible I got at my confirmation from my parents. Yes, I went to 12 years of Catholic school. That might explain quite a few things. <laughs> so your first strength complex is your row. Let's pull it up eight. Seven, squeeze all shoulder blades together. Five, four, elbows to the ceiling. Two, one. I just threw in one more in case I counted incorrectly. Clean it up. Two, three, drive through the hips. Four, five, six, seven, elbows towards me. Eight, push, press, overhead, dip and drive. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. For good mornings and squats, for good mornings, lunges, and squats, I'm going to put my backpack on my back. All right, so good mornings. Remember, if you've got dumbbells, you want to keep them right by your side right here. If you've got straight up barbell like I had last time, that's on your back. Oh, I look so outdoorsy. Like I'm ready to go for a hike. <laughs> I wanted to go to Old Rag today, but I realized, oh, whole park's closed. Whew. I'm going to take my kids over there, get them outdoors, because if I don't encourage them to go outside, they'll sit in the house for days and days and days. They're like gaming types. I think that was eight. I don't know how many I was rambling. Let's do our lunges. Eight on each side. Two, three. Oops, I just killed myself there. Four, <laughs> slipping on that rock. Five, six, seven, and eight. 
other side, lunge, step, lower, push, back up, four, it's really easy because, I mean, me personally, I hate doing lunges, so I just kind of like rush through them sometimes, and I think to myself, why am I bothering? If you're going to do it, do it right, take your time, step, stabilize on that front leg, lower, and then push up through that front leg. Right, and do it as slow as you need to to get back your form. Okay, <sighs> lunge squats. Yes, how can I forget squats? One of my absolute all time favorite exercises. What is your favorite exercise? Mine are squats, and I love deadlifting. Two really quote unquote basic, they're not basic, but you know, fundamental, functional. Lift, total body, I think that's six, seven, and eight, squat deep. Squat thrusters, let's get this done. Up, all the way down and up. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, woohoo! We are the champions. Yes, we are. All right, we got a little bit more of a conditioning Tabata. We've got a squat single leg hop and a directional squat jump, right? So squat single leg hop, squat, hop on one leg, squat, hop on the other leg, squat, drive that knee up, boom, yes? That's your first exercise. Your second exercise, directional squat jumps. So you're gonna turn to one side, right? Squat, turn to the other side, boom. Yes, that's your second. Ready for this third round? Here we go, let's start. Preparing. We've got four, three, two, one, squat. Drive that knee up, boom. Take your time to squat deep though. That's it, boom. Little explosive power. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice work, guys. Time to get intense. Three, directional squat jumps, and go. Turn, jump, turn, squat. Three, two, and one, woo! Oh yeah. Squat. Single leg, hop, ready, and work. Boom, up, balance, drive. Mm. Oh yes, three, two, one, ah. Feel that burn, love it. Getting uncomfortable. Bah. So when you start feeling like, oh man, I'm uncomfortable, that's usually when you start hitting that zone four, that orange zone. Start working on that VO2 max, pushing into those lactate thresholds. Woo! Two. One, and squat, single leg hop. Oh, try to drive. You know what's really weird? You know, when I start getting tired, and I do, especially movements like this, I think, geez, what if I'm like out jogging by myself, and some weirdo comes up, and I gotta crush him. I'm tired, 
where am I going to find that energy? <laughs> and then I go, <laughs> right? I think that was kind of my computer went dead. Yeah, we're resting. Whew. Ready? Squat. Change direction. Boom. Boom. Add that little punch if you want. Boom. Dad. Uh. Reminds me of the old Billy Blanks days of kickboxing. Tai Bo. Squat, single leg, right. hop. Uh. So this is a good self-defense move too. If there are attackers in front of you. <laughs> now that I'm totally digressed to that. Grab and knee. All right, boom, drag that knee up. Whether it's to the groin or the head. Whew. Three, two. One, go. Oh, yes. Let's add that little jab. Five more. Two, one. Oh, nice work. Three, two, and session. Nice work, folks. Round four. Almost there. How are we doing on time? It's hard for me when I don't have music. Oh, we got plenty of time. Let's get this done. I'm using, what time is it? Let me go super easy. For those of you who don't have backpacks, books. You can definitely use books. You can use a bag of rice, laundry detergent, and bent over rows. So what I wanna do, if I have a really lightweight, I just wanna really squeeze, focus on that contraction, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Sometimes using a lightweight eight really forces you to work on that form. So from here, I'm working on that timing, right? Boom. Like when am I gonna clean that book up it's right as I pass my hips and the hips are driving. That energy, that momentum is where it's coming from that core, from those hips. I think that was seven and eight. Push press. Here with a lighter weight, you can really work on that full extension and tracking that head forward. Four, dip and drive, five, Six, notice my biceps are right by my ears. Seven and eight. Good for the good mornings. I'm just gonna keep it right here, just like it's a dumbbell. Feet right underneath the hips. And again, with the lighter weight, you can really focus on getting a little bit farther down than you had before and get that stretch without rounding the back, yeah? I think that's four, five, six, seven, I'm sorry, I'm sniffling, eight, I don't have the Rona, I have allergies, <laughs> all right, we've got uh, lunges, yes, I'm going to keep the book right here, keep my elbows close together, I'm going forward this time, and remember what I talked last time about the form of your lunges, break it down, step, Stabilize that back foot, lower, push through that front leg, right? Really get the most out of your work. Four, out of your time. Five, you're here, you've committed, you've invested your time, make it worthwhile. Always do your best. Eight, I think that was eight. Good, Woo. you've got this. Two, Lunge deep, three, watch that front knee, four, if you start feeling twinges in your limb, in that front knee, you're not using your butt cheek enough, two more, seven, 
eight. Oh, I forgot to bring it back. Sorry, guys. Squat it out. Let's do eight and go. Eight, seven, six, five. Butt back and down. Four, three. You really should be able to feel it in those glutes, too. And one. Whoo. Oh, my heart rate is up. Squat thrusters. Last eight. Round four. Almost done. One. Two. So another thing I see often, three. And not that I blame you, not shaming you. But it's my job to tell you a lot of times people cheat on these. They don't go so deep and they end up doing push presses. Seven. Although I think this is actually nine, but <laughs> you know the deal. You know by now I'm terrible at counting. Okay. Side torso crunch. Oh, we've got some oblique work to do. I like this move. We actually do this in Legree. Legree at home. We're going to work on the right oblique first. You're going to kneel down on your left knee. Right leg is straight right here. Okay. Left leg arm wraps around. And we're taking it down and slowly crunching it up. That's your first exercise. You're not going super fast on this. In fact, you're going super slow to really create that burn in that oblique. Then we've got side plank crunches. Now you drop down to your right elbow or your right hand, whatever you like. And you're here. You could be on your knee or like straight up on your ankle. And you're going to do side crunches right here. Oh, wait. Yes. And then we switch. Just follow along with the video. Guys, ready? Fourth Tabata. We got to get this done. There we go. And preparing. So you're on your left knee. Right leg is straight. Three, two, one. Just follow along with the rhythm for me here. Even if you end up doing two crunches, if you really squeeze those abs tight, and slowly and controlled on the way down, bring it back up. You're gonna really start getting deep into those obliques, those little intercostal muscles. Three, two, one, and good. Side plank on the right side. And we're gonna crunch that left oblique. I like this one because it works both obliques at the same time. Total body, 10 more seconds. Crunch it out. You could obviously do this on your elbow as well. Three more seconds, two, and one. Rest, now we're on our right knee. Left leg is straight. Three, two, one, and take it down. Get that nice stretch. Oh, pull up through those abs. That's it, tuck that belly in nice and tight. And all the way up, squeeze, squeeze. Keep it tight and slow. Three, two, one, whew. Left arm, left elbow, whichever. And we're gonna crunch. Work, squeeze. So the other thing too, people ask about getting your heart rate up without explosive moves. This right here, going super slow and keeping all those muscles contracted as you move, I guarantee you will get your heart rate up. That's why people have been um, practicing Legree for a while. So you're like, they're, they're sweating when they come out. And their heart rates are up. Where am I? I am going the wrong way. I'm so confused by the camera. <sighs> Working that right oblique. I was like, that doesn't feel right. But, and then, of course, my timer goes. It all goes to pot. Five more seconds. <laughs> Three, two, one. Excellent. Right elbow side plank. Ready? And crunch. Ten more seconds, guys. Make it count. 
Work those obliques. Strong shoulder girl on that right side and rest. Now on my right knee, left leg is straight. And take it down. All the way up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We've got one more round after this. How awesome. And then we're done. It's pretty hot in here in my living room now. I feel like my, my eyeballs are sweating. <laughs> Three, two, one. Awesome. One more plank on the left. Make sure that body line is straight. Reach overhead and crunch. Take your time. Draw that belly button in. That's it. Oh, yes. Squeeze. Elbow to that knee. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome job, guys. Round five. Just in time. We gotta do this quickly, though. And I'm gonna do it with dumbbells. Bent over barbell rows. Let's do this quickly. Let's get to work. Eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cleans. Two. Hips, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push press, dip and drive, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good mornings, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, lunges. I'm going back, stack my dumbbells here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes. Other side, eight, whoop. My wonky hip. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Awesome. Up oh, squats. Like one's next. Oh, yeah. Two, three, four, five. Drive through those heels, and eight. Squat thrusters, whew, I am feeling it. And control that heart rate, control that breath. One, two, three, four. Get that full extension, five. Get that deep squat, six, seven, and eight, done and done. All right, guys, we have a cumulative burpee challenge. See how many burpees we can do in this Tabata. So keep count. Julie, I know it's not gonna do burpees. So if you don't wanna do burpees, that's okay too. I'm gonna have you do your plank. Plank walk one, two, do your push-up and plank walk, push-up. Okay, so those are your two options. Neither are really that wonderful, right? But we got this. Everybody else, good old regular burpee. Keep count how many. Type in the comments how many you do cumulatively within this last Tabata. Whew. Let's get this done. We've only got two minutes, so let's do two minutes of work. Ready? Three, two, one, and burpees. Five. 
Keep going. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten for me. Eleven. Thirty more seconds, guys. I've lost count of how many, but I'm getting my heart rate up. That's what counts. Last ten seconds. Three, two, one. Great job. Write down how many burpees you got done. It's time to say goodbye. <laughs> Have a great Monday. See you guys in boot camp tomorrow. Nice work, people. Get some.